All right, hello, 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 welcome back. This is Rugby Packs. This is hopefully the last episode. I was having encoder problems before. I planned on doing the last episode as the last episode, but things are starting to run into issues. If there's issues today, I'm just going to have to pause, restart, frame it together. We'll see. Hopefully this works. Hopefully it all goes well, because I want to finish this game. I'm really excited to see what it's all about. <clears throat> Are we going to be able to kill Silas and make everyone back to normal? Give Travis at least some bit of a family? Or have we just doomed everybody to death? Like we just did with Max. They realize they can't be so close and try the motel up the road. <laughs> the Harbinger. Okay. Okay, Caitlin. The rain's been off and on all night. These fuckers know you're in here. They're coming back first chance they get. What are you gonna do? Shoot them. What are you gonna do? Okay. I need to get to a vantage point. too obvious. I'm still afraid this is going to come down on somebody. <clears throat> it's weird because the actual game itself seems to be running alright. It's the cutscenes that make the encoder fail. Weird. How long has this guy been here? <clears throat> Large and overbearing, this regal oil painting of Septimus Hackett holds pride of place in the chimneys column, which is coming down. Uh... Maybe I should keep looking. It's not a bad spot, but it's it's too obvious, I think. There's too much space there. That's the problem. They were gonna leave this is the thing is they were gonna leave the camp like this all summer like are you kidding me this is a shit show <clears throat> some camp mascot to kick it before camp starts what? rip Ian memorial memorial to deceased camp mascot Ian from the looks of the drawing he was a sheep oh nobody got to meet him last Sounds year about right Ian was the name on the collar too, right? So, yeah. <coughs> Sorry. Still shooting while sick. I was trying to get it all done in one day, because it's my only day off, is what I'm sick, but, you know, so the last couple of episodes that you've seen, surprise, surprise, were all shot on the same day. Ooh, this could be interesting. I remember Mr. H's cheesy ass announcements. Whoa. Keep it. Busted. That would have been helpful because loud sounds seem to really screw with their ears. Where have I seen this emblem before? Discarded jewelry thrown off in a scuffle. The inscription reveals it belongs to Bobby Hackett. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's just a mirror. What's this? 
Just think, we would have gotten attacked without finding any of this stuff. <gasps> Real cam footage. A tape. It's like they're looking for something. Like Silas. Oh, but she doesn't know that yet. She wasn't part of that. Archive trail cam footage from the Hackett Woods dating back six years ago. So we're missing some evidence too, so we're not going to get away with everything here, but hopefully enough that the police will let us mostly stay free. So by the time morning comes, oh, I like this. A high vantage point is this. Okay, so I imagine we have to use that vantage point. This is the only place I've seen that actually is a vantage point. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll find out in a minute. I'm just going to do a quick peek down here. Hopefully I don't get attacked, but I think i got to do some more exploring first. Oh yeah, I can't get down there. Let's just do it. <clears throat> He's coming through the chimney. Showtime, motherfuckers. Yeah, what she said. So I apologize again if it does get choppy and laggy. I don't know why. Maybe just because it's the end and they're putting a little more effort in. But if my encoder fails, I'll do my best to, to redo it. But no promises. You're alive. Yeah, yeah, well, don't sound so disappointed. What the hell happened to you? Where are the others? I don't, I don't know, okay? Everyone's sort of everywhere. We need to get somewhere safe. Yeah, sure, whatever. Dude, what's up? What do you what do you mean what's up? Look around. You're being all weird and mopey. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Spill it. Don't kill it. Or do kill it. Look, I'm sorry, okay, it's just this isn't exactly how I pictured the last night going. Yeah, you and everybody else. Yeah. Hell of a way to end the summer, huh? Man, when did it come to this? Uh, Earth to Jacob? What's happening right now? Do, do you admit it? Oh. You gotta be sorry. Um, <clears throat> I gotta come clean. Um, what do you mean? Uh, Emma. Look, it's my fault we're stuck out here. Oh, Jacob. I. I messed with the fan. You know, when I realized we were seeing another night, this is exactly what I worried about. I know, I know, I'm so, and I'm sorry, okay? I, I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Okay? I just... I wanted to spend... I wanted to spend one more night with you. You know, together, like... Like before. No, I still have feelings for you, Jacob, but this was a summer fling, that's it. We're... We're not good together. We're just not. You mean you didn't want to spend more time with me? I don't want to be in a relationship with you. You've got to respect that. Yeah? No, you got to apologize. You screwed up big time here, boy. You got people killed that were not even involved in this. I know it's not going to make any difference. I kind of did, but it's his fault. It's I'm all sorry. his fault. Even if it means you're not going to be I want you to know that. I 
Wouldn't you at least have like a little fun tonight? You know, despite everything. Wow. How can you ask me that? <laughs> now I want him to die. <laughs> You're a real concern. Look, what can I do to make this better? Jacob, there is no making this better. All you can do is hope you live long enough to take responsibility for your actions. It's not long before sunrise. All we have to do is wait it out. Can I wait with you? It's a free country, man. She's done with his shit. You don't have silver bullets in your gun. Oh, the wolves are fighting each other? The white wolf and the... I think I just got her killed. Kneecap him. Well, you were supposed to shoot, then run. Wasted a lot of valuable time there, idiot. Yeah, that'll do lots. I don't like either of these options. I didn't really get to look at the beam. Let's go window. I think the beam will break. Voice crack. <clears throat> Turn and shoot. Please take the choices away from me. Oh shit, he's right on us. Shoot him in the windowsill. He's got nowhere to go. He got a clean shot. He's going to jump down on top of me. Okay, that wasn't promising. That was quicker than most. Oh, I'm gonna have to do it again, aren't I? Where am I gonna run to? Let's go hide in the freezer, I guess. Mm. 
Use decoy. Oh, brilliant. That was ballsy, but I'm glad it all worked out. There's a lot of paths being chosen at the end here, and I don't like it. What doesn't kill you? So what exactly happened six years ago? There was a fire that wiped out dozens of people and now there's werewolves and a ghost that roams the woods looking for her lost baby boy which i've just put together is silas oh shit it's a long story no it's not there was a fire silas the wolf boy escaped bit a bunch of your family you failed to stop him burn <laughs> what happened in the past doesn't matter right now uh, it kind of does, actually. We need to know what we're up against, at least. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf for the last six years has avoided being found. No matter what we did. Every full moon we were out there looking. Every single one. Now the son of a bitch is finally here. So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. So how do you even know where he is? How the hell are we going to find him just driving down the middle of the road? There he is. Uh, take the wheel, I guess. Travis! Travis, get it together, come on! this Go! it's not gonna kill him though it's not like he gets silver tires where did he go he can't have just disappeared he's gotta be nearby Look around. Are you crazy? Are we there yet? You're okay. I'm better, but yeah. Do you think he turns before the end of the night or no? Got some blood. I'm wondering if he's under the vehicle. Leads through there. What the hell happened back here? Whoa. Ooh, that's this ghostly. is where we went off the road two months ago. You're trying to decide if you should shoot me in the head right now. Go ahead. If that's what you want, I won't stop you. What? Normally, 
I'd have werewolf's blood cover our scent, but I'm all out, so we're high risk. We could be killed. You ready to end this? Let's fucking do this. It's nice you got an eyeball back. One gun with three is though, is it really worth it? Now why does she get the gun? He's a sheriff. Surely his shooting skills are better than hers. I think they do. They're starting to figure it out, buddy. I thought she was... I thought Max hit her, but then I was out here and she was something else. Who? The woman. The old woman. She was saying something over and over again. Oh my god, she was saying Silas. No, that's impossible. Who are you talking about? I saw her too. In the run tunnels. Eliza Vores. Silas's mother. Think. Who was she? There's no point not cooperating in this she point. She a traveling sideshow called Harem Scarrow. Came here six years back. She kept her son in a cage. Called him Silas the Wolf Boy. Died in the fire. Some say she never left. The hag of Hackett's quarry. We've been looking for Silas ever since. How did the fire start? Really? You're still hiding stuff now? <clears throat> you blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee Hackett. One of the kindest, gentlest souls to ever walk this earth. All she wanted to do was help that little boy. Locked in a cage by that freak show witch. What did she do? She just wanted to help him. Travis. She convinced Caleb to start a fire. It was just a distraction. It's May Bales. Give him enough time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. That's not what happened. No. So within minutes, everybody was dead. Jesus. Never see Hayburn, Liza, whole crew. Caleb managed to get Silas to freedom. But Caleb got bit in the process. That's why you've been hunting him. Silas, I mean. Every full moon for six fucking years. Some hunter you are. <laughs> I don't think jabbing each other at this point is really that helpful. This, this is all that's left. Jesus Christ. Man. So he's come back to see his and mother, I'm presuming. Negative. Damn, I never saw any of this. I didn't even know this was here. Why wouldn't he, though? If they've been hunting for six years, why would he then not have come back to the place where Harem Scarum was? Oh, Ryan, you... <laughs> Ryan? <laughs> Shit. I'm sorry, Faust. Close. We must be close. Did you both see, see it too? I kind of wish I hadn't. Same. What is it? Silas, the dog boy. 
must be it. Careful. I have a feeling he's going to die. Here we are. Hello, boy. He's back in his cage. Fucking Jesus Christ. She's not going to be happy about this. I doubt this is going to be this simple. What's wrong? What are you waiting for? Shoot, you stupid girl! Yeah. Are you sure about this? Shoot. Sorry. <clears throat> Sorry, old lady. There might have been a way, but there's been too many werewolf deaths already. Please, let's just let's just go before we we have to see him like that in human form. It's too late for that. That's it. Game over. Max is dead. Abby is dead. Mom is dead. Grandma's dead. The White Wolf. She's going to be mad. I bet you think you have it all figured out. I bet you think you're fucking clever. I tried to help you. I tried to warn you. I even started to like you not now not after this i will not forget what you made them do to my silas i've been with you all night and i'm not about to stop now just because the nights come to an end no whenever you hear a noise in the dark a whisper from the shadows the breath on the back of your neck it's gonna be me I'll be there. Now I will never leave you. I'll never leave you. Well, that's creepy. It's a good thing video games aren't real, right, guys? Chapter 10. I'm going to play this through again on not streamer mode without recording and I'm going to have a great time because the music just doesn't work. Uninjured Bobby was able to fend off an attack from Chris's brother in Werewolf 4. Jediah made it. Thanks to Bobby fending off Werewolf Chris, Jed survived the attack. Chris was killed when his favorite counselor Ryan shot up a silver. Constance. Laura shot Constance face off in a struggle for the gun. Nick. Werewolf Nick was shot dead by Laura when she mistook him for Chris. Which saved Jacob's life, I will say. Kaylee. Chris's packet took his shot by Laura. Mistook her for Werewolf Chris. Laura made a lot of mistakes, is all I'm going to say. Abby. Abby met her demise when Nick tore her head from her body. Yeah, that one I should have stopped. That one I could have stopped. Jacob was freed from the Hackett's basement and reunited with Emma in the woods. Both have survived the night. Now who's going to end up in jail? It's Dylan. Dylan survived the night and was freed of the werewolf's curse when Loris killed Silas. So I didn't have to cut his hand off. Max swam back to the mainland where a hungry Caleb was waiting for him. 
Caitlin, survived by luring Caleb into the freezer using the lost rabbit toy left by Abby. Caleb, when Silas killed, Caleb lost his werewolf immunity and froze to death in the freezer. Travis survived the encounter with Silas and put us on into the curse that had haunted his family for six years. Ryan was cured of the werewolf infection when he shot Chris and managed to survive the showdown with the white wolf. Laura killed Silas with a silver shell, curing every infected person who has survived the night. Silas killed. I think we're going to see some people go to jail. several dead. What do you make of that, Anton? I love that term, several. Like, the detectives are just, they, they don't even count the bodies. They're not like one, two, they're like one, two, three. Yeah, you know what? It's several. Several murders. You know, it might be a tactic, though. They can't give out that information yet. Sometimes detectives are notoriously difficult to solicit information from, especially when you go in saying, hi, I'm a paranormal expert. I thought we'd done the whole Hackett's Quarry thing. Not this Hackett's Quarry thing. What was this, like three months ago? Old news, dude. Anton, introductions first. We are Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together, we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement in real life everyday occurrences. And that's exactly what they are, real life everyday occurrences. With a shadow of spiritual supernatural occurrences. No. <sighs> okay, so I hope you've got hat insurance, Anton, because I'm about to blow your mind. Did you just ask if I had hat insurance? Yes, it's responsible to insure those things which mean the most to you. A hat. Yes. Okay, I know where your priorities lie, go on. Anyway, there actually is a real reason that we're coming back to Hackett's Quarry. There have been some developments, and I've sourced some information. I remain skeptical, but I'm all ears. Okay, let's Under see how our evidence did. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, God, why? Why are you smiling? Stop it, I hate it. Why? I had braces. I have to make use of them sometimes. You do have very pretty teeth. Thank you. That's something Get that the podcast it. listeners might not know about. So, it just so happens I've got someone on the inside, so today's episode is going to have a bit of a show-and-tell vibe to it. Who do you know on the inside? The inside of where? What? You know someone on the inside? Don't we all have someone on the inside? You know, an inner critic that mm. says, stop doing a podcast, no one's listening. You should listen to that voice, Grace. Okay, well, what I really meant is, let's call it an anonymous donation. You know, we're not the only ones who flagged this as a bizarre situation. Someone actually reached out to us. They sent us a package. Did you? You didn't open it. Anyone who... I don't trust anyone who listens to this show. Oh, I couldn't wait to open it. Surprise! Anonymous donation. Okay, you've always promised me since day one of this podcast that if you could see true evidence, you will consider all options, right? Did you not say that? I did say that, yes. I mean, I know you... Knowing for a fact that we would never see any evidence, I did say that. Okay, well, we've been sent information, and we need to decide whether it's bizarre or bona fide. <sighs> okay, fine. Let's do this. For anyone listening at home, we are about to open a package from a mysterious person who listens to this show. If you it would are be the Ryan. one who sent us whatever it is, congrats, you got us. It's all right, the tape is just... There's just so much tape on the package. Sorry, can you help me with this? Do you have like a key I could like slice at it with? No, I don't want you to dull my key. Just use your fingers. But just give me your fucking key, Anton. No. Give me your fucking key. No. Get your own key. It's not like you lock your door. 
Of course I lock my door. What are you what are you hiding? What am I hiding? Do you not lock your doors? No, I have nothing to hide. You think that ghosts are real, but you don't lock your doors? No, ghosts couldn't open my doors. They could walk through my walls, Anton. Okay, you need to be more so concerned lock your walls. with murderers. So, remember those missing hikers? You haven't stopped talking about them, so yes. Well, I wanted to keep them fresh in your brain because my sources tell me that their backpacks were found at the summer camp. Whoa, wait, for real? Yes, allegedly. Allegedly, yes. of course. That's th that is the grace language we have come to know and love. Allegedly, apparently, supposedly. Nothing is ever concrete, is it? These could be anyone's bags. Yes, well, I am a human with free will, and so, so those I are the choose ones Emma to found. believe that these two particular hiking bags belong to our two missing hikers. I I'm pretty sure you have one of these bags. I've seen you carry it around. Ghost hunters are drawn to a certain aesthetic, and I can't help but appreciate, yes, I do think that these are very fashionable bags. I will say that people can pick you out as a ghost hunter from a mile away. Thank you. Wasn't a compliment. Oh. So, we've got to talk a little more about the Hackett family. Right, so these guys are like the heritage landowners, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Their great, great, great grandparents were trappers who claimed the land way back when. They just claimed it? Yes, they did. They put their flag on it just like the man on the moon. The Hackett family flag, right. Well, apparently when they claimed it, they found quartzite. Quartzite? Okay, I was hoping you would ask. Fun fact, every building in the whole of New York is made of Quartzite. That's Interesting. not fun or a fact. Most of them are. But I digest. Digress? It was a pun. They dug the quarry and hit great heights of success before Septimus Hackett, classic bad guy name, the seventh son of the trappers, the number seven, has great supernatural powers, uh -huh. closed the mine down. Okay, so then Which they is what we discovered underneath. Yes, you say only this land actually spans acres. That's a lot of forest. A lot of unexplored darkness. Ooh, okay, a great place to hide, to have all these dark secrets for this strange, reclusive family. Mm -hmm. And this is where we start to get a little more into paranormal territory. Okay, here acres we go. Acres and acres of haunted woods. If you say so. If I get copyrights for that, I'm going to be sad. Welcome to Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. Welcome back to Bizarre Yet Bonafide. Anton, today I'm actually going to pass you some light writing. Okay, you're going to make me read this? Mm-hmm. All right, um... This is... What you're seeing now is a copy of a letter that Kaylee Hackett wrote to her grandma. Allegedly. <sighs> All right. Uh, this seems like more of a you job, but I suppose right, I can read I, this. Right, but I feel like if some of the evidence comes from your mouth, it will have more clout. Right. Okay, here we go. Gammy, how long are we going to drag this shit out? Mm. I know family is the most important thing, but I want to know what's outside the forest outside this damn house and camp and i sure as hell know that ain't about to happen because of who we are maybe we can explain what's going on fucking show people then they'll know we got no control over it i know you just trying to protect us but one day you won't be here no more and right now it feels like we stuck in a dark hole i can't sleep gammy or if i do i dream about that fucking fire we were just dumbass kids back then. I wish it never happened. Love, K, X, O, X, O. That took a turn. Yes. Dream about that fucking fire. Does that not read as the haunted scribblings of someone who saw something that they shouldn't have seen? Yeah, no, I'm fully creeped out. She was clearly going through some stuff. And this is legit? I mean, I don't know why someone would fake it. 
Then again, I can't verify any of this. So, you've got to suspend your disbelief slightly. Man, it's a smart way to get girl. people to watch the yeah. credits, dude. There was something going on, something eating away at her, and that's what I want to explore. Okay, well, consider my disbelief suspended for now. So, I don't think that's going to be a problem for this next one. Oh, God, why? Holy shit, this is a cease and desist letter. And it's addressed to us. Dude, why didn't you tell me about this? Well, it was never actually sent. That's mad shit, fam. What? Signed by Travis Hackett. We're not doing anything illegal. Aren't we? Think about it. I guess it wasn't technically sent to us. Cease and desist letters come from people hiding stuff. Hmm. Okay. And next we have this empty vial thing. Now, to me, empty implies that it was once full. Same Z's. Blood stains, maybe? Filled with blood? Looks that way. So that would be the werewolf blood. To Some keep kind of them away from thing? the kids at Do camp. Do I detect a hint of belief? Love a good ritual. Kind of fucked up that these guys know who we are, though. Makes more sense okay. now, though. Anton, <clears throat> what you see next pretty much confirms it. That you're a crackpot conspiracy theorist a loser? Shit went down at Hackett's Quarry this summer. Real, super natch shit. See, you always say things like this, and you're always overselling it. You always have to oversell something to even sell it. That's capitalism, baby. All right. Okay, this is actual footage from one of the trail cams in Hackett Woods. Oh, cool, a camera in the middle of the woods? Did they find a squirrel? Be honest, if it was mounted on a mountain bike, you would watch that whole video. Yes, of course. Is there a mountain bike involved? No, but take a look anyways. Okay. That is a bear that is a bear to you there is no way that is a bear okay well it uh, a skinny bear okay this could be some of the clearest footage of something like this i've ever seen right it's kind of blurry though blurry and convincing sometimes the truth can't be contained within the lines right yeah and also footage is pretty easy to fake technology is super scary yeah but what the hell were the hackets doing with footage like this anyways huh yeah, that's a good point weird little video of a skinny bear yeah i don't know again you keep saying a skinny <laughs> bear have you seen a skinny bear yes that's Bears very sad oh yeah, polar bears, it's hard for them to find food sometimes. He's got a point, but Don't there's no bad. way they're that those nasty. werewolves look like okay, that. Okay, but putting the Hackett family aside for a moment, there's more to this. Are you ready for some real spooky shit? I'm ready for real spooky shit. I don't know if you can provide it, but please try. <sighs> don't get too freaked out. I'll try my hardest. Okay, do you want to hold my hand? No. Okay, do you need someone to comfortingly pat your back? Please, just say what you're gonna say do you want me to turn all the lights on so you don't i don't want you scared? to do anything i want you to say what you have actually you might be a little freaked out at this oh is that skin skin fur whatever you want to call it really it looks human hmm. wait is it apparently it belongs to whatever creature supposedly caused all this do we have the actual thing? Can I see it in the flesh, so to speak? No, just the photo. Whoever got in touch was smart enough to not risk actually stealing evidence. Convenient that we can't see the real deal, huh? Come on, man. Just saying. So this next thing to me isn't overtly supernatural, but it'd be unfair not to discuss it. Okay, so far I wouldn't describe any of it as overtly supernatural, but sure, let's do this. <clears throat> Claw marks. Wow. You're right. That is underwhelming. To be fair, I'm that's the most regular kind of thing. Out, thought it was worth sharing. Grace, it's highly likely this that was is all Dylan's just photo. an elaborate prank. True. But if I treated everything like that, then I wouldn't have a job. Eh, fair point, I guess. Okay. You know what? It's weird. I'll give you that. Oh my god. I just said it was weird. Don't make a big deal out of it. Oh my god, I've done it. You haven't done anything. I said it was weird. I've done it. I've turned you. You're, I've converted you to my side. You're a believer now, right? I will never be on your side. I won. I won. You did not win. This I mean, is look, a contest and I have prevailed. You have not. Look, I just mean I can see it. The lack of details in the news report and this stuff. Uh, I don't know. Whatever it means, there's merit to the idea that something strange went down. Strange. Interesting word choice. So, 
What are you saying? Shut up. Come on. No. Give me what I I'm want. I'm not giving you here. anything. You've practically given it. Just give me the succinct sound bite I so desperately long for. Okay, I never agreed to this title, but I would agree that for the first time ever, this case could well be bizarre yet bona fide. Nice. Ah, this is the best day of my life. And that's sad. Why? Is it not yours? No. So what now? We gotta send this stuff to the police. They can decide whether it's useful or not. I just wish we could know more. I wish we could just look into a crystal ball and see how it all played out. Yeah, but what fun would that be? Sure, we could speculate. It's useless anyway because the people still end up dying. There's no way we'll ever really know what truly went down at Hackett's Quarry. Um, who the fuck even are you? I'm being genuine. That was beautiful. Thank you. You just launched into precisely the kind of content I've been trying to make. It's just the first time we've had a coherent thought on this podcast. All right. Oh. Are they back? Are they gone? Well, I'm going to assume that that's them done. We didn't have all the evidence, but we had enough maybe to make sure that people believed that something was going on. We managed to keep most people alive. Unfortunately, Max was just a split second decision and he didn't make it. Abby, I should have been able to save. I thought we were gonna get another chance to shoot at Nick, but unfortunately we didn't. And those two are the two I really was concerned about. There probably was a way to keep Mr. Hackett, Chris, alive, but being in the situation I was in there, I don't see how. I'm happy to go back and walk, or play again. I'm not going to re-record, but I want to see how, if there's a way to keep everyone alive. Because there was with Until Dawn, but it was so hard. But, uh, yeah, this game, phenomenal. I'm glad that you guys got to join me on my first full game adventure that I've done with a cam. This has been so much fun. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please like, please subscribe, please leave a comment about what you'd like to see me do next when I'm not so sick. <clears throat> but yeah, I don't think there's any point leaving this through till the end. But if there is, I'll have to come back and do it again, I guess. But until then, keep yourself safe. I'm going to call it here. So, yeah, like, subscribe, do all that stuff. And uh, I guess I'll see you in the uh, next episode, whatever that may be. And until then, take care.